my biggest concern is I don't want this to happen again. Um, a former uh, high-ranking person in the CDC told me in confidence that he thinks the next one will be uh, a leak, will happen again, there'll be another pandemic, but he fears the death count could be 5% to 50% because we're dealing with really, really dangerous viruses here. Um, I mean, there are people manipulating Ebola. Wow, let's see if we can make Ebola more transmissible among humans. Uh, Ebola is a terrible disease, but it, it's, it's kind of like AIDS. It doesn't float through the air. It's exchanged through bodily fluids. And when people are really sick, it, it c can cause a contagion, but it usually doesn't spread worldwide like an aerosolized. You know, anything that's aerosolized is incredibly dangerous because everybody gets it, basically. But, uh, you know, there, there's a great danger of not doing something here. And I, that's one of my goals in all of this is not really just to assign blame, although I think it's important. You also have to convince people that this happened. The Democrats still stick their head in the sand and just don't seem to see it. But once people are convinced it's happened, maybe they'll be convinced to actually do the reform. And even now, Democrats are quietly coming to us. They know the consensus is switching on this. They still don't want to be part of it because Fauci's the leader of the Democrat Party now for them. He's this icon, and they don't want to do anything that tarnishes him, and they see it as a partisan effort. They're coming quietly to me and saying, you know, well, we probably would work on a bill to maybe regulate gain-of-function research, how taxpayer dollars are spent on this. Yeah, it seems like arrogance isn't a strong enough word for mm -hmm. this kind of um, – it's it's kind of central planning, manipulating um, human existence itself. and. And I, I don't, I can't think of a strong enough word to, to, well, to explain how insane that sounds. There's a healthy dose of arrogance and elitism in all of this, uh, of any kind of center, sort of central planning. And in uh, several of the exchanges with Fauci, I would say, show some humility, man. Not yeah. exactly like that, but have some humility. Yeah. Because the thing is, is that I'm the first to tell you that my opinions are based on evidence, but you can have another opinion and we can have a debate. When you're a central planner, you basically have an opinion. Your opinion becomes edict across the land. And this is really the danger of, of, of Fauci is that if he were a family practitioner in Peoria, you know, you could take or leave his opinion. You could go to another doctor. But when it's all so centralized and then the, the rules on vaccines get centralized. But, you know, in that long New York Times article, he even kind of admits that maybe some of the hesitancy over vaccines and stuff was attributed to his heavy handedness of turning people away. But in that article, um, they misstate something that, that's egregious and that, that should be corrected. They said, oh, it's a tragedy that in America only 68 percent of people are vaccinated. Well, people at risk over 65, let's just use 65. 97% of Americans, maybe 99%, it's a very high number. Almost everybody over 65 chose to be vaccinated. So it's not really honest. A lot of younger people didn't get vaccinated because they said, well, you know, I've already had COVID. I don't really know of any young person dying from this. And I've made a decision. I'm, I've already been inoculated by nature. Um, the other thing is, is our 65 or 68 percent overall vaccine rate versus a country that has 77 hasn't probably made much difference in the overall mortality. Most of the mortality or over half of it was before the vaccine, another half with the vaccine and the vaccine in the end, even he admits in the article, well, it doesn't really work for Omicron at all. Yeah. Now, they have a yeah. new one that may have some effect. But the thing is, is people and no one will ever publish this because you're supposed to do as you're told. Is Omicron deadly at all? Yeah. I mean, there still are some people dying, but the question is, are they dying from Omicron or from other things? And um, I think most people have some immunity. You've either gotten it naturally or you have some vaccine immunity or both. You know, that I think we're um, not in as precarious a situation as we were in the beginning, for sure.